Hello guys and welcome. In today's video, we'll be seeing how to use Lambda to copy an object from one exterior bucket into another exterior bucket. So the first thing to do is to sign into your AWS Management Console. So click on sign into the console. Then it's going to take you to this sign in page. So you can sign in as a root user or you can sign in as an IM user. So for today's video, I'll be signing in as a root user. So put in your email and click on next. Then it's going to ask you for some security check. AWS just want to make sure that you're not a robot trying to log into someone's account. So just put in these numbers. Mine is seven. Oh, sorry. Mine is N7RT5B. Then it's going to ask for my password. enter as you can see now i'm in my aws management console and if you are following along with me you should also be in your aws management console now that we are in our s in our aws management console the next thing to do is to create two buckets let me take you to this diagram right here as you can see we have to create two bucket one bucket is going to be the source the source bucket is where we would put the object in it. And when we put our object in the source bucket, that object Lambda, a Lambda function will be triggered and it's going to make a copy of that object into another S3 bucket without us having to manually upload that object into another S3 bucket. So we have, so we need two buckets for this tutorial. The first bucket, the first bucket is the source bucket where we put in the object. The second bucket is the uh, destination bucket where the object will be copied into. I'm not explaining, explaining it a lot does not make sense. Let's go do it. So I want you to go back to AWS Management Console. And I want you to click on S3 right here. In case you don't find S3 right there, you can click on services, click on storage, and you'll have S3. Or just type S3. Click on S3. So now that we find our save on the S3 dashboard, we have to create two buckets. So click on create bucket and it's going to ask you for a bucket name. Remember, S3 bucket names are globally unique. So mine will be demo source bucket Emmanuel. Then I'll leave everything as default and I'll click on create bucket. So this is my source bucket. This is where I'll put the object into. Now we have to create a destination bucket. So I'll call this demo destination bucket Emmanuel. I know my bucket names are too long. If you can make your bucket names shorter, that's fine. So leave everything as default again and click on create bucket. <clears throat> so now we have our two buckets. We have this two bucket right here. We have a source bucket and we have a destination bucket. Now that our two S3 buckets have been created, it's time for us to create an IM rule. So let me go back to this drawing board right here. In order for Lambda to communicate with this S3 bucket or with our S3 bucket, we need to put an A, an IM role in between this bucket. So let me just put it right there. Let me put this one right there. So Lambda is going to communicate with this bucket and Lambda is going to communicate with this bucket. And this bucket will communicate with Lambda 
in return, right? In order for this to happen, in order for this communication to happen, we need to put what they call an IM. We need to use IM role. Let me see if I can find it. Is this one right here? So we we need to put an IM role in between these services in order for them to effectively uh in order for them to effectively communicate with one another so this guy will be linked to this guy uh i don't know if this diagram makes any sense but uh, i'm not showing it and this guy will be linked to this guy and this other guy right here will be linked to this guy so i am stands for identity and access management it's a service on aws that allows resources to communicate with one another to talk to one another or to do things to one another so if i want lambda to talk to my s3 bucket my two s3 bucket i need an im role in between uh these services so let's go back let's do the rest of the talking and let's go back and do some practical so go back to your s3 management console and i want you to look for I am because we want to create this. We want to make it possible for all these services to talk to one another, for all these are resources to talk to one another. So go back and type I am. Click on I am. And the first thing we want to do is to create a policy. Click on policies. Click on create policy. And I want you to paste this. I want you to choose JSON and I want you to remove everything and paste this in here. So I will add this policy in the description below. So as you can see, here we have the version, the statement, the effect is allow and the action is get object, right? And we're getting object from our source bucket. So just open this right here. Click on your source bucket and click on properties. And I want you to copy the Amazon resource name right here. Come back, close this. And I want you to paste it in here. Let me paste it in here. So this policy allows or uh, uh, permit us to get an object from this S3 bucket right here. Now, this one down here says allow put object. So we want to get an object from this bucket and we want to put it into this bucket. So let's go get our, I'm not good at explaining. I'm trying my best to explain. I'm good at doing it. So let me grab here. Are you seeing where it says demo source bug, demo destination bug? So click on that, click on properties. And where it says Amazon resource name, click on that. Come back here and paste it in here. Fine. So let me try my best to explain this. This is a policy that allows two buckets to communicate with one another. So the first thing here, the first thing that this bucket's going to do is there's an effect that's allow and there's an action that's get object. So we want to make it possible. We want to make it possible so that we can get an object from this bucket and we can put it into this bucket. As you can see, the action here is put and the effect is allow so allow put object into this bucket then click on next stack then i'm not going to add it that just click on review i'll give my policy a name i'll say get and put policy uh, I won't give you the description. You can give the description if you want to. Then I'll click on create policy. 
So our policy has been created. Now let's go create a rule. So I'll click on rule, create a rule. And it's going to ask me to select the type of trusted entity. I'll select AWS service and that will be for Lambda. And I'll click on add permission. Then the next thing I want to do is to attach that policy we just created to, to our role. So just attach the policy. It was get right here. Get and put policy. Click on that. Click on that. Click on review. I'll give this a name. Lambda. S3 objects right there and I'll click on create rule now our rule has been now our rule has been created now that our buckets have been created our two buckets have been created our rule has been created I think I used the wrong one let me just Cut this and I think I should use this one right here. Yeah, is this one right here? So is this one right here? So now that our two buckets have been created, our rule has been created. It's time for us to go create our lambda function. Right? So to create your lambda function, go back to AWS Management Console and type lambda. right here click on create function before i can create function let me delete this function right here i don't think i need it yep delete the function so click on create function then auto from scratch that's what you want to do then give your function a name so i'll just call this one demo get um put object demo get and put object then it's gonna ask you to choose uh, a runtime node.js is fine then under permissions I want you to expand where it says change default execution rule expand that and under execution rule I want you to change from Create a new role with basic lambda permissions to use an existing role. So click on use an existing role, click on this drop down and choose that role. I think the role we created was uh, lambda S3 objects right there. And click on create function. Now our function has been created. What I want you to do, all I want you to do is to, let me copy the code. Just copy this, copy this and paste it in here. So, just copy that and paste it in here. Where it says source bucket name, just go back to this, copy the destination bucket. Make sure you copy everything. Come back here. Then where it says destination, replace that with the bucket name. Then I want you to go back, S3 source and i want you to copy the source as well and i want you to put it in here and i think everything is fine the next thing i want you to do is to click on deploy as you can see it has been deployed successfully now that our Lambda function has been deployed with this code right here, let's go back to the drawing board and let me try to explain some things. So we have created these two S3 buckets. One is the source, the other one is the destination. And we have created the Lambda function. 
and we have used a, an IM rule to link everything together. So all of these services are communicating with one another. It means when I put an object in this bucket, Lambda will copy that object into this other bucket. But in order for Lambda to copy the object into this bucket, we need to add a trigger to this Lambda, something that's going to trigger this Lambda to copy the object into this bucket. So go back to your uh, Lambda page, click on trigger right here, add trigger. Then the trigger right here will be for S3. Click on that. Then it's going to ask you for the S3 bucket. So I want you to select your source bucket. So the source bucket right here. Then the next thing I want you to do is to leave everything as default. And I want you to click here. And I want you to click this right here. Where it says recursive invocation. Check that. So here is what is going to happen. We are telling our trigger that, that whenever an object is put into this S3 bucket, we are telling Lambda, I mean to say, we are telling Lambda right here, we are telling Lambda that whenever an object is put into this S3 bucket, be triggered and copy it into this S3 bucket. That's what we're trying to do here. So leave everything as default and click on Add Trigger. Let's go and test to see if all of this is working. So let me go back to the source bucket. I'll add something. I'll put something in my source bucket. So upload or upload an image. Uh, let me just upload this image of me or let me just upload this one. Open, then I'll click on upload. As you can see, it's uploading. It says upload suc succeeded. So I'll close this. As you can see, if I go to the demo source bucket in manual, I should have that object in that bucket right here. But let's see, is this object in our destination bucket? Let's go back to S3 and let's click on our destination bucket. As you can see, the object is in our destination bucket. We didn't put it there. What happened was that when we uploaded the object right here, a Lambda function was triggered and it copied the object into our destination bucket. So guys, that is how to copy objects from one bucket to another using Lambda. Thank you for watching. In case you have any question, please leave a comment below and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.